What's up, Fancy Beauties and Bows? Coming in with this gadget put together installation. Let's do it together. Video. <laughs> so I am going to put together my vacuum cleaners. Y'all already know I am OCD. I am all about cleanliness is next to godliness so i wanted to make sure i got these tools up and ready and plus i just want to make sure i have things that will help me be more organized be more efficient in the home especially since i have the boys so anything that's going to help me get through a task faster i'm all about that life so we're going to do the Dyson first, and it's just a nice little handheld vacuum cleaner. It does have the attachments here with it, and I do wish they were kind of able to be on board, but since it's a handheld, it can't do that. So I can't have everything, even though I want everything. <laughs> So it's really easy to put this together, um, but I like to follow the directions whenever I'm putting things together, especially electrical tools. I want to make sure that I am following those to the letter. So I'm just going ahead and taking the cord loose and plugging that in. When this came to me, it was already semi-charged it was like maybe 20 percent charge so i did not have to have it plugged in very long so as you can see here i'm doing exactly what i said i'm reading the directions and it's telling me that i need to let it charge for three and a half hours since i don't need it right now i i don't think i charged it so I'm just showing you guys how it goes in and how it works and things like that. How the roller is made. Instead of hair-like bristles, they're plastic bristles. That is the filter system right there. And it took me a moment to kind of figure that out, but I did end up figuring it out. And I'm just reading all the little tags that they have on here. This is my first Dyson product anyway so that too is another reason for me wanting to read the directions get familiar with it as much as I can so I know what type of equipment I'm dealing with then I'm going to see how I can empty the container that is pretty much an easy process as well and you'll see that right now I'm going to struggle a bit but then you'll see So if you lift up on that red handle at the top, it pulls up the filtration so you can empty it. And it also use, you can also use that to open the lid at the bottom. So we're going to move on to the big boy, to the big girl, to the big boy, to the big girl. Mine's is a girl, so <laughs> her name is Queen, and that is the iRobot. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go through and unbox it, let you guys see the components, 
and then walk you through how to get this connected to your phone. It's easy, but it's not. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean when we get down to that part. This is the, mm, what do you call that? The resting unit. I, there's a proper name for it and it slips my mind right now. But um, that is where Queen will sit once she's done cleaning the house. This is what she looks like. Very simple. Nothing to her too much. Those are her little feet where she kind of brings in the dust so she can eat. So it's got everything mapped out for us here on how to do this. So the first thing is to go ahead and get her plugged in. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And this is the initial setup. I have since moved her into the kitchen area where she can um, be docked there. So make sure you plug this in good i did not plug mine in good when i first did it and it came right back out because that green light is supposed to stay on all right so now we need to flip over queen so we can pull that tag out of her and then we're all set and she needs to stay charged on here as well and she needs to she needs to charge for three hours for a complete charge. Now I'm struggling a little bit trying to figure out how she's supposed to sit on this dock. And then I finally figured it out. So you see the green light is not on, and that's because the cord came out. So I was doing it right, but because the plug came out, I thought I was doing it wrong. <laughs> there you go now I got it plugged in and the light came on as it was supposed to so now this is the tricky part right here you have to push two buttons at the same time the home button and the clean button so I figured that out but I'm just gonna let her charge for three hours first once that's complete we're back and we need to install the app on our phone so that's why I'm going to um, the Play Store now and I'm just gonna type in iRobot app and then home is the one that you want to choose okay now once this comes on it's going to walk you through each process. So you just hit continue and just keep going. I had to take some things off in order to get it installed initially on my phone. And then I had to go back and have some more things removed in order for it to connect wirelessly to, to Queen. So right here is trying to connect, but it does not connect. So I'm going to try and make this as clear as possible. You have to unconnect your wireless service. So just click the, the wire 
Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is what I'm trying to say. So you want to click your Wi-Fi on your phone and then go go out and then come back in so that you can see the option for iBot iRobot to come up under your Wi-Fi options. Boom. See right there, it's going to tell you, and you're going to get this message because a lot of customers have gotten the same message. So I had too many apps, so I took some of my apps that I was not using, I took it off in order to make this work. Okay, so I had to kind of play around with it again um, just to get it to work. And I promise we're going to get past this. Okay, so I finally got it on, and now we need to press those two buttons simultaneously in order to get this to connect. This is where you're going to need to go ahead and turn your Wi-Fi off of your phone, and I'm going to show that part to you. And it's telling me what I'm supposed to do right here. I'm trying everything I could think of. And so finally, I was just like, you know what? Let me just turn everything off. Because you got to go under your settings. And then there's no option. That it's not showing anything about iRobot in there. And I'm like, what are they talking about? There's nothing here. So see, I pressed that button to turn everything off. Now I'm turning it back on. And then I'm just going to go out, all the way out. And then just come all the way back in. And I figured that out off camera, unfortunately. I didn't show it to you guys in here. But once I cleared everything out, I got the green light, that Wi-Fi signal on the iRobot on Queen, she uh, turned green. Where the Wi-Fi symbol is on there, okay. it turned green. green. And then now we are in business. I'm going to let you guys see how everything else works. Okay? Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on the clean and side of things. And yes, you do have to go ahead and put your password back in there since you turned it off and then because she's going to ask for it and then you're all set
it's going to do this um, little spin thing right here. When you get to this point, all you got to do is just press clean on on your iRobot and then she'll um, do what she needs to do from that point. And then the magic, it really does happen. So just stay tuned for it, guys. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with my antics over here. Yeah. Get it out of the mess up. 